for 149, we want to know where is the function increasing, decreasing, and constant. So first of all, just those words. If it's increasing, it means that you're going uphill. If you look at this line here, some of you might say, well, maybe I'm going downhill or maybe I'm going uphill. But when you read a line, you read it just like a book. You're reading from left to right. And so as my eyes come across this from left to right, my eyes hit this line and my eyes go up. So this is increasing. Okay, if I flip this around like that, if I read this from left to right, when my eyes hit this, my eyes start going down. So this is decreasing. And then if I go straight across, it means a constant height, like my height is not changing anywhere I am up here. So here's constant. Now I pre-highlighted this graph. This graph is just a solid dot, goes to here, goes across, goes up, goes across, and goes down. But I highlighted sections because your answers come off of the x-axis. They're not coordinates. So this little section right here is going uphill. <coughs> this section is constant going straight across. This section is uphill. This is straight across, so constant. And then this is downhill. So as far as just pointing, like, where is it increasing? It's increasing there and it's increasing there. Where is it constant? Right there and right there. And where is it decreasing? Right there. But how we write our answer is off the x-axis, okay? So if I start, like where is this located? Do you see how it's located between negative six and negative three? See how I'm coming off the x-axis? Okay, so make sure you look closely at that from negative six through negative three. So the first part of the increasing is from negative six through negative three. See, that's not a coordinate. Now the reason why we're using parentheses, can you kind of picture that if, let's say I went to the top of a hill when you get to the top, I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up. But when I get to the top of the hill, I'm no longer going up and I'm not yet going down. So I know that this is a closed dot, but we're not listing domain. We're saying, where are we going uphill? And when we get to the very top, we're no longer going uphill. And when we start at the bottom, we haven't taken that first step yet. So we're not going up. So when you have increasing and decreasing, it doesn't matter if these are solid dots or open dots, you will always use parentheses. Okay, now the next section that's increasing is right here. So how would I list that section? See how it starts at negative one and it stops going uphill at zero? So I'm gonna say negative one through zero and intervals of increasing decreasing we just use parentheses now depending on the format sometimes you guys will see the best notation if there's two sections where you're increasing is to put this u symbol it means union you're putting the pieces together but if this symbol is not available, then sometimes you'll see a comma. But best notation when you want to stick two things together is U for union. Okay, so then for increasing, I just put a little bit of extra information. The meaning of what I have here is we're going uphill from negative six through negative three and from negative one through zero. So from negative six through negative three, and from negative one through zero. Those aren't coordinates. Okay, now decreasing, we're going downhill only right there. 
So where does the downhill section start on the x-axis? See how it starts at two? And then we're no longer going downhill after six. So this is two through six. This is not right two up six. This is from two through six. Parentheses are always used for increasing and decreasing. Then I just added a little meaning, just again, that two through six, we're going downhill. Now the constants, when it comes to the constants um, for the book that we're using, for all intervals, increasing, decreasing, constant, they will use parentheses on all of them. I will tell you that in other books, they will use brackets only for constants. And I, I actually personally agree with that notation a little bit better. There are two, two major math authors that disagree. And unfortunately we don't have like some, you know, worldwide math, you know, council where they can, you can bring it to them and then they make the decision. Um, so for constants, and this is why when they have the AP calculus exam, they stay away from this specific answer because they know that it's written two different ways. Um, but in this case here, my constant, see how we're going straight across from negative three through negative one. So negative three through negative one. And then we're going straight across from zero through two. Now, if I can, if I have the option, instead of using a comma, Right there, I'm gonna use a U for union. And I'd say negative three through one, union zero through two. The reason why some textbooks use the bracket is because when I start at this height and then I go, I go walking, I'm at this height, I'm at this height. When I end, I'm at this height. So at the beginning and the end, I am actually at the constant height. So they include it, um, but for you guys, just know use parentheses on all of these intervals, increasing, decrease, and constant. And you're looking at your X axis to decide what number through what number are you going uphill, downhill, or straight across. And if you have more than one section, then you have a separate interval.